Hello everybody, welcome back to the ASUS ROG YouTube page. If you've probably just watched um, our, our brand new unboxing and overview video on our brand new ASUS ROG Mars 2 graphics card, uh, you probably may be looking to find out a little bit more about some of the software that I mentioned in that uh, overview, which is going to be GPU Tweak. So GPU Tweak is a brand new uh, graphics card utility application that we launched with our GTX 580 Matrix graphics card. Um, this is a brand new all-purpose utility that covers a number of different functions and features, uh, whether it be overclocking, monitoring, and even soon to be uh, frame rate monitoring, game recording, and even more functionality. Um, so we're going to be kind of doing a little bit of an overview at how GPU Tweak works with our Mars 2 graphics card and how we can take pretty much uh, the pinnacle performance in terms of what we're doing with this GPU and even pushing it a little bit further in terms of overclocking potential. So let's go ahead and uh, jump over to our desktop and uh, take a look at the new GPU Tweak software. So as we can see here, we've got uh, our setup here and uh, we've got our awesome uh, wallpaper knowing uh, our NVIDIA and Republic of Gamers and uh, Mars 2 and here we go. So we've got uh, GPU Tweak. So this is a brand new utility um, and you can see it looks quite a bit different than our previous Smart Doctor uh, application, uh, which was our graphics card utility. And we've done a lot of changes here. This has been internally um, under development for quite some time and our focus has really been about collecting feedback from you, the users in the community, as well as media and trying to make sure that all the features and functions as well as the fit and the finish uh, that users are looking for are present within this application. So uh, first and foremost, of course, this is CART. This software is designed internally by us as opposed to some competitors that use um, a rebranded software. Um, we're actually developing this internally so that this allows us to have a little bit more flexibility when it comes to making changes or adjustments um, as you guys give us feedback. And this also allows us to take advantage of additional hardware that we're putting on the card that might sometimes give us more options, whether it might be voltage, whether it's specific fan controls, memory timings, or things along those lines. Um, that being said, one of the cool things about GPU Tweak is that it's an open source application and that you can go ahead and run it on any other graphics card on the market, including competitors' products. But uh, the star of the show today is definitely Mars 2 and GPU Tweak, so we're going to take a look and see what this offers us. So here we've got the Mars 2 uh, sitting on a Rampage 3 Black Edition, um, being you know powered by our AX 1200 uh, Corsair Gold Series power supply. Um, we have a real quiet system, as you can see, it's running idle. And right off the bat, we have some real nice information that's being denoted to us here. So this is the monitoring tab. And we can see here we have great pieces of information like GPU temperature, which right now we can see our system is uh, approximately idling about 38C. And if we uh, go ahead and track it with our cursor here, we can actually see the actual history of the actual temperature, and it will note to us actually a minimum and a maximum. So we can see uh, at one point we had a minimum of 29 and a maximum we actually had a, a 72. So we can see that information is all listed here along with GPU utilization, uh, vid for the voltage, uh, frame buffer utilization, and a whole bunch of other metrics that are all here, uh, whether it's fan cycle or fan RPM, uh, the core clock frequency, um, it's, it's all available to you here. And of course, as a user, you can go into the settings tab and uh, make an adjustment as to which items you want to monitor and what you want the uh, fetch or the polling interval to be. So we can define it, you know, one second, three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds. That's all available to us that can be all configured. One of the other nice parts of this application as well is, is that uh, it uh, supports being uh, like uh, undocked. So we can see here that we can go ahead and we could have this independently here and we could still have GPU tweak as well as our ASUS GPU-Z uh, still attached here. And if I want to go ahead and bring it back, I can go ahead and uh, redock it and it's now linked back up to, to, to the two other applications. So it's uh, very flexible in terms of that. Now next here we of course have the primary application itself, GPU tweak. And this is going to go ahead and allow us a lot of different functions and features. So first and foremost, we have our tuning option, which when select, uh, selected, gives us all the key parameters that we're going to adjust. So we've got the core clock, core voltage, memory clock, and fan speed. And if there were different parameters that could be adjusted, here uh, in the scrolling area, we could go ahead and scroll down and have those options be available to us. One of the great functions and features is, is that this does support manual entry. So if I go ahead and uh, let's say just click on this with my cursor here, I could go ahead and type in 800 and then go ahead and hit apply and it would go ahead and apply that. Now one nice thing that you notice is that it automatically made actually some adjustment here 
And that's because we have this lock. And this lock is a synchronization tool that as the adjustment gets made to the core clock, it will make an adjustment to the core voltage. So you see here, if I go ahead and raise it, it made a jump up in terms of core voltage. And that's kind of an automatic compensation mechanism for users that maybe aren't as knowledgeable when it comes to what might be increments of voltage changes you make. Of course, for our normal enthusiasts out there, or people that are uh, practitioners of the dark art of overclocking as it is, uh, you can go ahead and just uh, click that and that will unlink them and then you can just make independent modifications to both the core voltage and to the core clock as you see fit. Uh, and same thing for the memory clock and fan speed. Fan speed is very straightforward. Uh, we're allowing the unit to run right now in its automated BIOS ramping profile, but we could easily go to manual and uh, go ahead and either slide or manually define the fan speed and apply. So very easy. Uh, or of course we could also go to user defined and we could define our own actual fan ramping policy allowing us to really kind of pick and choose where we want it to ramp up and ensure superior cooling but also where we might want to make those trade-offs is as we increase the rotational speed of course the card's going to get louder so that's a fine level of customization that's afforded within the application in addition to that of course you have profile options available to you so that if you go ahead and make an adjustment such as maybe me going over to um, you know, maybe I want uh, 820 and uh, re increase my core voltage to 1075. Excuse me, 1075. Um, I can go ahead and hit apply to that, uh, excuse me, the maximum being 1063. Um, and then I can go ahead and save that uh, right here to one of these profiles. So that's one, two, three, four. And then we give you two additional profiles here uh, for silent or for gaming. So very flexible in terms of being able to allow you to customize it as you see fit. Lastly, here in this tab, we also have a benchmark button. Uh, this benchmark button, which is denoted by this little arrow, would allow you to go ahead and click. Right now it says it cannot open application. And uh, that, that means because we haven't linked an actual benchmark to it. So an example would be, let's say I maybe go to settings and uh, then go ahead and go to tuning. We can see right here benchmark quick start dex destination it has a generic EXE, but we could go ahead and maybe point it uh, to the EXE that we want. So uh, an example might be maybe like I have a, my Adrenaline Crisis 2 benchmark tool and I know where that EXE is. Could copy and paste that EXE and I could go ahead and uh, enter that in here and uh, denote that EXE that I want to go ahead and run. So it uh, makes it very flexible in terms of you denoting which application you want to be able to quickly and easily benchmark with. But before we jump into the rest of the settings tab, let's finish just scrolling down the bottom here uh, in line. So next we have an integrated live update feature. This was something that was really requested by a lot of our users and it just allows the user to go ahead and quickly and easily check to see if there's a later revision of maybe a BIOS uh, for the actual graphics card itself as sometimes we'll fine-tune the BIOS after the launch maybe enabling more voltage maybe adjusting the fan ramping policy different variables like that or also checking automatically for a newer version of the GPU tweak software itself so all you do is just go ahead and check update it'll tell you connecting to server and it will go ahead and run that check for you you can also set in your setting options an automated time frame for it to go ahead and automatically do this for you so that you don't have to consistently do that as we can see right here uh, it shows us there's Mars 2, current version is uh, this revision here of the BIOS, and then we can see here that there is actually a brand new BIOS that has been released for the card. So what we can do is we can easily go ahead and click on this, and then go ahead and select update. So we'll go ahead and save that towards the end so you can see actually what the update policy looks like so that we can go ahead and complete that. So next step up, uh, is that we can see here is that it's now alerting us that there is an update available. So until we go ahead and complete that, we're not going to necessarily going to get a green flag. Um, and we can see that information has been listed here. As we move down to the settings tab, we have a number of different other options available to us, such as that we can minimize GPU tweak when it starts up with the system so that you don't always see it at your desktop splashed up. Tool tip options. Tuning options are straightforward in terms of what you would like to have displayed in terms of uh, adjustments, whether it's the core clock, the voltage, memory clock, fan speed. Uh, you have malice sensitivity options. 
the live update policies that I mentioned before in terms of when and when you want it to actually go ahead and check. For me, I'm really anal about my updates, so I'd want it to check it every day, just like I have my NVIDIA uh, drivers set to automatically detect if there's a new beta release or a normal driver release every day. I have it checked for that. And the, la uh, the second to the last tab, recording has not been implemented yet, but this will be upcoming uh, when we launch our actual global GPU tweak landing page. And this will be in-game recording functionality so that you can go ahead and uh, play games, you know, whether it's uh, Crisis 2 or Dirt 3, <clears throat> you know, Dungeon C3, whatever it is that you're uh, playing, you can go ahead and actually do in-game recording. And we have a number of different presets that will be available. Lastly, you have hotkey parameters, which allow you to go ahead and uh, apply either profiles that you define, um, automatically adjust the actual clock speeds in game, or I'll also show the windows um, when prioritizing one over the other, whether it's the monitor or whether it's the primary GPU tweak screen. So a lot of different options here, and of course, if there's anything that's missing, uh, we'd love to hear your guys' feedback, whether it's on uh, the web pages or in the forums, letting us know what you guys want us to next incorporate. Lastly, we have something that's really cool and uh, makes us really stand apart from other applications out there, and that's our information tab. We've partnered up with, uh, with Tech Power Up, and we're utilizing the extremely popular GPU-Z, and we have this built in, allowing us to have extensive read information regarding the actual GPU. So here we can, of course, see uh, that uh, our Mars 2, uh, this, this awesome king of the crop in terms of the graphics card, is being detected correctly in terms of it showing two GTX 580s, and it shows us all the information in terms of the clock speeds, memory type, uh, BIOS revisions, all this information is readily available to us here and uh, at our fingertips. And we can go ahead and close out of that and uh, launch it easily should we need it by just clicking that little info tab. And as uh, we update the GPU tweak application, of course, newer versions of GPU-Z will be included in there. So we'll go ahead and uh, close out of this and we'll also, uh, excuse me, you don't want to minimize the whole thing and uh, we'll go ahead and close out of the monitor and we'll just default to the primary tab here. And the last kind of options that you have available here, we can see that if we drop down from the Mars 2 tab, we can see that we can select special options for running the card in Quad SLI if we were to run two Mars cards uh, so that we could go ahead and select Sync All. That way we could go ahead and define any parameters that we wanted to easily and effectively uh, to both cards. And we can also switch between 2D mode and 3D mode in terms of the settings that we'd look. So that's just selectable once I go to 3D and I can see there that there's a 3D option and a 2D option. So very straightforward. So now just to kind of get a little bit of uh, how the application works in real time, let's go ahead and open up Unigen Heaven. And what we'll go ahead and do is we'll make an adjustment to allow you to see how easy it is to actually overclock your card and also take advantage of some of the monitoring functionality. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, have Heaven here, and uh, I have it set to pretty much super high settings, DirectX 11, shaders on high, tessellation normal. I'm going to go androscopic filtering is going to go 16 times, and I'm going to be running at a resolution of 5,760 by 1,080. Uh, because of that extremely high resolution and leaving all the other effects, I'm not going to turn on AA at this point, because um, we're also just doing this uh, for general purposes in terms of testing out the GPU tweak application. I'm not going to go full screen so that that will run in the background and still allow me to have GPU uh, tweak running in the foreground. So here, as it goes ahead and opens up, if I want to maybe get information, at this point I can go ahead and click my monitor button and the monitor will pop out. And as we can see here, we've already started to place more thermal load onto the actual GPU and we can readily see that the GPU core is heating up and producing uh, higher load temperatures. So now it's gone ahead and started to actually load up actually the game, or, or the benchmark in this case, and we can see that the, this is all dynamically being monitored. It's very easy to see. We can see all this information automatically adjusting. Now keep in mind, uh, this application is natively designed to be run in full screen, hence why you also see a little bit of the stuttering until some of the cache, caching comes into play. Um, but in terms of what we also wanted to show in terms of overclocking, it's very simple. Should we want to go ahead and maybe define a little bit faster core clock, I could go ahead and enter here, 800. And I could go ahead and enable you know, 1050. And then from there, go ahead and hit apply. And at that point, I've now successfully overclocked my card and I've got additional headroom. 
Uh, with the Mars 2, uh, we were generally seeing overclocks comfortably up to about uh, 820 megahertz at a core voltage of about 10, 1075. Once you've gone ahead and stress tested your card and you've checked that out and you've seen that your temperatures are in an area that you feel comfortable with, you could of course always just hit save, have those settings be applied by default when you start the system, and you'd be good to go. So as you can see, um, it's a very functional application, allows you to get a lot of information. You know, we can check a lot of good pieces of information about the fan, which we can see still here, even under load, and now even overclocked, uh, and running such a high and demanding benchmark, it's still quite quiet. You know, and if we want to find more information out here, we can see that the, the fan duty is ramped up to approximately 58%. Uh, uh, we also see the fan rotation speed. It's uh, fairly minor, only a little bit less than about 1200 RPM. So this is all good pieces of information allowing you to kind of learn how to customize and configure the card as you see fit. So definitely, uh, once again, ASUS kind of stepping out there to give you another um, level of functionality uh, through some really advanced software that we've developed uh, through our internal development and the feedback from you, our users, as well as from the media as a whole. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed checking out a GPU tweak and seeing some of the functionality that's offered. As always, if you guys have any questions, concerns, inquiries, or any general feedback, definitely leave it on the YouTube page, hit us up at Facebook, hit us up at Twitter, or visit uh, www.asusrog.com forward slash forms. Thanks.